Do you ever wonder how businesses manage their inventory? How do they make sure they have enough stock to meet demand, but not so much that it sits on the shelves, tying up cash? That's where inventory management and control come in. In my course, we'll explore the ins and outs of inventory management and control, from the different types of inventory to the costs associated with managing it. We'll also cover inventory metrics, forecasting techniques, and replenishment processes. Effective inventory management can make or break a business, so we'll discuss the importance of getting it right and how to do so using a variety of inventory systems. Additionally, we'll cover the process of auditing inventory records and the benefits of automating inventory management processes. By the end of this course, you'll have a solid understanding of inventory management and control and be equipped with the tools and knowledge to help businesses optimize their inventory processes. Join me to learn how to keep your inventory under control and your business running smoothly. Number 1. Definition Inventory management and control is the process of overseeing the movement of goods and materials within an organization, from the point of manufacture or purchase to the point of consumption or sale. Imagine you run a bakery. You have to keep track of how much flour, sugar, and butter you have left, how much you need for the next batch of cakes, and how much you'll have to buy to restock your pantry. This process of tracking and managing your ingredients is what we call inventory management and control. Inventory management and control is the backbone of any business that deals with physical goods. It involves overseeing the movement of goods and materials from the point of manufacture or purchase to the point of consumption or sale. This process includes everything from ordering and receiving inventory to storing, tracking, and distributing it. Effective inventory management is critical to the success of any business. By managing inventory levels and replenishing stock in a timely and efficient manner, businesses can minimize the risk of stockouts, optimize cash flow, reduce carrying costs, and improve customer satisfaction. Inventory management can be a complex process, involving a wide range of tasks, such as forecasting demand, setting reorder points, and conducting regular inventory audits. It requires careful planning and attention to detail, as well as a thorough understanding of the business's supply chain and inventory requirements. Many businesses are turning to technology to improve their inventory management and control processes. Automated systems, such as barcode scanners and RFID tags, can help to streamline operations, reduce errors, and improve overall efficiency. These systems allow businesses to track inventory in real time, making it easier to identify potential stockouts or excess inventory. In conclusion, inventory management and control is an essential aspect of running any business that deals with physical goods. It involves overseeing the movement of goods and materials from the point of manufacture or purchase to the point of consumption or sale. By effectively managing inventory levels, businesses can reduce costs, improve customer satisfaction, and ultimately, drive greater success. Number 2. Importance Effective inventory management and control is critical to the success of any business that deals with physical goods. It helps businesses to minimize the risk of stockouts, optimize cash flow, reduce carrying costs, and improve customer satisfaction. Imagine walking into a store to buy a product you need, only to find out that it's out of stock. Frustrating, right? This is why effective inventory management and control is critical to the success of any business that deals with physical goods. Inventory management helps businesses to minimize the risk of stockouts, which can lead to lost sales and dissatisfied customers. By keeping track of inventory levels and forecasting demand, businesses can ensure that they always have enough stock on hand to meet customer needs. Optimizing cash flow is another key benefit of effective inventory management. By managing inventory levels and ordering only what is needed, businesses can reduce the amount of cash tied up in inventory. This frees up resources that can be used for other business operations or invested in growth opportunities. Reducing carrying costs is yet another benefit of effective inventory management. Carrying costs include expenses such as storage, insurance, and handling. By keeping inventory levels at an optimal level, 
businesses can minimize these costs and improve their bottom line. Lastly, effective inventory management can also improve customer satisfaction. By having the products customers need in stock and ready to ship, businesses can ensure timely delivery and enhance the overall customer experience. In conclusion, effective inventory management and control is crucial for any business that deals with physical goods. By minimizing the risk of stockouts, optimizing cash flow, reducing carrying costs, and improving customer satisfaction, businesses can improve their bottom line and drive greater success. Number 3. Inventory Types There are several types of inventory, including raw materials, work in progress, finished goods, and maintenance, repair, and operating, tomorrow, inventory. If you run a business, chances are you deal with different types of inventory. From raw materials to finished goods, inventory is an essential part of any business that deals with physical goods. There are several types of inventory that businesses need to manage. Raw materials, for example, are the basic components used to manufacture a product. These could include things like lumber, fabric, or metal. Managing raw materials inventory involves forecasting demand, ordering the right quantities, and ensuring that they are stored properly. Work-in-progress inventory is another type of inventory that businesses need to manage. This refers to goods that are in the process of being manufactured but are not yet finished. Managing work-in-progress inventory involves tracking the status of each item and ensuring that it is being processed in a timely and efficient manner. Finished goods inventory, as the name suggests, includes products that are ready for sale or distribution. Managing finished goods inventory involves forecasting demand, ordering the right quantities, and ensuring that products are stored in a way that preserves their quality. Finally, there is maintenance, repair, and operating, Tomorrow, inventory, which includes items needed to keep a business running smoothly. These could include things like office supplies, cleaning products, and equipment repair parts. Managing Tomorrow inventory involves ensuring that items are ordered and stocked in a way that supports business operations. In conclusion, managing inventory is essential for any business that deals with physical goods. By understanding the different types of inventory, Businesses can develop strategies to manage each type effectively and ensure that they always have the products and supplies they need to succeed. Number 4. Inventory Costs The cost of inventory includes not only the purchase price of the goods but also the costs associated with storing, tracking, and managing them. These costs can be significant and can have a major impact on a business's bottom line. Inventory may seem like a simple concept but the costs associated with managing it can be significant. Not only does inventory include the purchase price of goods, but it also includes the costs associated with storing, tracking, and managing them. Storing inventory can be expensive, especially if a business has a large amount of it. Renting warehouse space, paying for utilities, and investing in security measures are just a few of the costs associated with storing inventory. Additionally, managing inventory requires labor and resources, such as software and equipment, to track and maintain accurate records. The cost of inventory can also increase due to factors like obsolescence and spoilage. Obsolescence occurs when products become outdated or are replaced by newer versions. Spoilage occurs when perishable products, like food or medicine, expire before they can be sold. In both cases, the inventory becomes less valuable over time and can result in losses for the business. Carrying too much inventory can also lead to additional costs, such as opportunity costs. When a business has too much inventory, it ties up resources that could be used for other investments or operations. This can limit the business's ability to take advantage of new opportunities or respond to changes in the market. In conclusion, the costs associated with managing inventory can have a significant impact on a business's bottom line. By understanding the various costs of inventory, businesses can develop strategies to minimize expenses and improve their profitability. Efficient inventory management can help businesses reduce storage and labor costs, minimize waste, and ensure that they have the right amount of inventory to meet customer demand. 
Number 5, Inventory Metrics. Common inventory metrics include inventory turnover, days of inventory on hand, and stockout rate. These metrics help businesses to measure the effectiveness of their inventory management and control processes. As a business owner, it's important to have a clear understanding of your inventory metrics. These metrics can help you measure the effectiveness of your inventory management and control processes and identify areas for improvement. One of the most common inventory metrics is inventory turnover. This metric measures how quickly a business sells its inventory and replaces it with new inventory. A high inventory turnover rate indicates that a business is selling its products quickly and efficiently, while a low turnover rate may indicate that a business is holding on to inventory for too long. Days of inventory on hand is another important inventory metric. This metric measures the number of days it takes for a business to sell its entire inventory. A low number of days of inventory on hand indicates that a business is selling its products quickly, while a high number may indicate that a business is holding on to too much inventory. Stockout rate is another important inventory metric. This metric measures the percentage of time that a business is out of stock of a particular product. A high stockout rate can lead to lost sales and dissatisfied customers, while a low stockout rate indicates that a business is able to meet customer demand. By tracking these inventory metrics, businesses can identify areas for improvement and make data-driven decisions about their inventory management processes. For example, if a business has a high stockout rate for a particular product, it may need to adjust its inventory levels to ensure that it has enough of that product on hand to meet customer demand. In conclusion, understanding inventory metrics is essential for effective inventory management and control. By measuring inventory turnover, days of inventory on hand, and stockout rate, businesses can identify areas for improvement and make data-driven decisions about their inventory management processes. Number 6. Inventory Systems Inventory management and control can be carried out using a variety of systems, including manual systems, barcode scanning systems, and RFID systems. Gone are the days when businesses had to rely solely on manual inventory management systems. Today, businesses have access to a range of inventory systems that can help them manage their inventory more efficiently and accurately. Manual inventory systems, where inventory is tracked using pen and paper, can be time-consuming and prone to errors. However, they may be suitable for small businesses with a limited amount of inventory. Barcode scanning systems, on the other hand, use barcode labels and scanners to track inventory. This system allows businesses to quickly and accurately scan items in and out of their inventory. RFID, radio frequency identification, systems use tags and readers to track inventory. This system is especially useful for businesses with a large amount of inventory, as it allows for real-time tracking of inventory across multiple locations. Some inventory systems also integrate with other business software, such as point-of-sale systems or accounting software, to provide a more comprehensive view of inventory and sales data. This integration can help businesses make more informed decisions about their inventory management and control processes. Choosing the right inventory system for your business depends on a variety of factors, including the size of your inventory, the number of locations you have, and your budget. Regardless of the system you choose, having an effective inventory management and control system in place can help you streamline your operations, reduce errors, and improve customer satisfaction. In conclusion, inventory systems have come a long way from manual tracking methods. Today, Businesses have a variety of systems to choose from, including barcode scanning and RFID systems, which can help them manage their inventory more efficiently and accurately. By choosing the right system for their needs, businesses can improve their inventory management and control processes and ultimately improve their bottom line. Number 7. Forecasting Effective inventory management requires accurate forecasting of demand for goods and materials. This can be achieved through the use of historical sales data, market trends, and other forecasting techniques. In today's fast-paced business environment, accurate forecasting is critical for effective inventory management and control. 
Forecasting allows businesses to plan for future demand and ensure that they have the right amount of inventory on hand to meet customer needs. Forecasting is not a simple process, and there are many factors that businesses need to consider when making their predictions. Historical sales data is a common starting point, as it provides insight into past trends and patterns. By analyzing this data, businesses can identify seasonal fluctuations in demand, as well as any long-term trends that may be affecting sales. Market trends can also provide valuable information for forecasting. By keeping up with the latest industry news and trends, businesses can identify potential changes in demand and adjust their inventory levels accordingly. Other forecasting techniques, such as statistical models and predictive analytics, can help businesses to make more accurate predictions about future demand. These techniques use complex algorithms to analyze a wide range of data, including historical sales data, market trends, and even weather patterns, to make predictions about future demand. Effective forecasting requires ongoing monitoring and adjustment, as demand for goods and materials can fluctuate rapidly. By staying on top of these changes and adjusting inventory levels accordingly, businesses can minimize the risk of stockouts and optimize their inventory management and control processes. In conclusion, Accurate forecasting is critical for effective inventory management and control. By using a range of techniques, including historical sales data, market trends, and statistical models, businesses can make more accurate predictions about future demand and ensure that they have the right amount of inventory on hand to meet customer needs. By staying on top of changes in demand and adjusting inventory levels accordingly, businesses can improve their bottom line and provide a better customer experience. Number 8. Replenishment. Replenishment is the process of ordering new inventory to replace stock that has been sold or consumed. This process must be carefully managed to ensure that the business always has sufficient inventory to meet demand without overstocking. For businesses that deal with physical goods, the process of replenishment is critical for maintaining the right level of inventory. Replenishment involves ordering new inventory to replace stock that has been sold or consumed, and must be carefully managed to ensure that the business always has enough inventory on hand to meet demand. The replenishment process involves several steps, including forecasting demand, determining the right level of safety stock, and placing orders with suppliers. It is important to balance these steps carefully to avoid stockouts and overstocking, both of which can have a negative impact on a business's bottom line. Forecasting demand is a key part of the replenishment process, as it helps businesses to determine how much inventory they need to order. By analyzing historical sales data and market trends, businesses can make informed predictions about future demand and adjust their inventory levels accordingly. Determining the right level of safety stock is also critical for effective replenishment. Safety stock is extra inventory that is held in case of unexpected fluctuations in demand or delays in the supply chain. By maintaining the right level of safety stock, businesses can avoid stockouts and ensure that they can meet customer demand even in the face of unexpected events. Placing orders with suppliers is the final step in the replenishment process. This involves working with suppliers to ensure that inventory is delivered on time and in the right quantities. Effective communication and collaboration with suppliers is key to ensuring that the replenishment process runs smoothly and that inventory levels are maintained at the right levels. In conclusion, effective replenishment is critical for maintaining the right level of inventory to meet customer demand. By carefully managing the replenishment process, businesses can avoid stockouts and overstocking and ensure that they are able to provide a high level of customer service. Number 9. Inventory auditing. Inventory auditing is the process of verifying the accuracy of inventory records by physically counting and reconciling the inventory on hand with the inventory recorded in the system. Inventory auditing is a critical process for any business that deals with physical goods. The process involves physically counting and reconciling the inventory on hand with the inventory recorded in the system to verify the accuracy of inventory records. This helps businesses to identify any discrepancies and ensure that their inventory records are up-to-date and accurate. 
There are several different types of inventory audits that businesses can use to verify their inventory records. A physical inventory audit involves physically counting all of the inventory on hand, while a cycle count audit involves counting a small subset of inventory on a regular basis to verify inventory records over time. Both types of audits are important for maintaining accurate inventory records and identifying any issues or discrepancies. Inventory auditing is an important part of inventory management and control because it helps businesses to identify and address any issues with their inventory records. By identifying discrepancies early on, businesses can take steps to correct them and ensure that their inventory records are accurate. This can help to minimize the risk of stockouts, overstocking, and other inventory-related issues that can have a negative impact on a business's bottom line. In conclusion, inventory auditing is a critical process for any business that deals with physical goods. By verifying the accuracy of inventory records through physical counting and reconciliation, businesses can ensure that their inventory records are up-to-date and accurate, which can help to minimize the risk of inventory-related issues and improve overall inventory management and control. Number 10. Automation. Many businesses are turning to automation to improve their inventory management and control processes. Automation can help to streamline operations, reduce errors, and improve overall efficiency. As technology continues to advance, many businesses are turning to automation to improve their inventory management and control processes. Automation involves the use of technology and software to streamline operations and reduce errors, helping businesses to improve their efficiency and productivity. One of the key benefits of automation in inventory management is the ability to reduce manual labor and errors. With automation, tasks such as data entry, order processing, and inventory tracking can be automated, reducing the likelihood of errors and freeing up employees to focus on higher-level tasks. Another benefit of automation is improved efficiency. By automating inventory management processes, businesses can reduce the time and resources required to manage inventory, helping to improve overall efficiency and productivity. This can be particularly beneficial for businesses that deal with a large volume of inventory or have complex inventory management requirements. In addition to improving efficiency and reducing errors, automation can also provide businesses with real-time data and insights into their inventory levels and sales trends. This information can help businesses to make more informed decisions about their inventory management and control processes, enabling them to optimize their inventory levels and minimize the risk of stockouts or overstocking. In conclusion, Automation is becoming increasingly important in the world of inventory management and control. By streamlining operations, reducing errors, and improving efficiency, automation can help businesses to optimize their inventory management processes and improve their bottom line.